Singular provides built-in support for internationalization, I18N, to help you build applications that can be easily translated into different languages. Now, let's create a new Angular project. Type the following command and hit enter. This command will create a new Angular project named Angular I18N Demo. To access the project you just created, you'll need to enter its folder. This is done using the cd command, which stands for change. Next, we need to install a couple of libraries that will help us handle internationalization, i18n, in Angular. Although Angular comes with basic i18n support, we are going to use the at ngx translate core and at ngx translate http loader libraries, which offer more flexibility and features, like loading translations from external files. First, let's create a folder called i18n inside the src assets directory of your project. This folder will contain all the translation JSON files for different languages. Navigate to src assets in your project folder. Create a new folder named i In the i18n folder, we'll create JSON files for each language we want to support. Let's start by creating two language files, one for English and another for French. Each JSON file will hold key-value pairs. The keys are unique identifiers for the text, and the values are the translations for that key in the corresponding language. Now that we have our language files set up, we need to configure ngx translate in our Angular application so that it knows how to load and display the translations. We'll need to modify the app module.ts file to import and configure the necessary modules. Now that we've configured ngx translate in the app module, it's time to update the component where we want to display the translations. We'll start by modifying the app component to use the translate service and display the translated content. In your app component.ts file, we need to inject the translate service from at ngx translate core into the component. This service will allow us to change the language dynamically and retrieve translations. Now that we've completed the setup for internationalization in our Angular app, it's time to run the application and see everything in action. This will load the Angular application, and you should be able to see the translations in action. The default language will be English, and if you click the French button, it should switch to French. 